Schwarz Open from Jena in Germany. It is all part of the PDC European Tour. We are broadcasting live and worldwide on Sport One, DAZN, and on PDC TV. But now it is time for the darts. Introducing first to the stage from Urk in the Netherlands, looking for his first win on the PDC European Tour, a World Youth Championship semi finalist and four time winner on the Development Tour, it's the Spear Ken Nenshi! And introducing his opponent from County Antrim in Northern Ireland, continuing his sensational debut year in PDC Dart. The winner of four Development Tour titles and already a two time quarter finalist on the Euro Tour, it's Rocky Josh Rock! <laughs> Welcome back. A great start to the evening for one Dutchman, Danny Van Tripe, defeating John Henderson 6-0 in this evening's opener. Rocking John Rocks here in Jena. And now it is over to Josh Rocky Rock, who has been doing great things in 2022, including four Development Tour title victories. And Gert Nentchers himself has four Development Tour title wins to his name as well. Two of them this year, remarkably the pair of them, despite all that success in the youth system, have only done battle once before. Nench has won on that occasion, but Josh Rock, a man who's reached a couple of quarter-finals on the Europe Tour, including in Hungary last week, will be regarded widely as a favourite for this match. Yeah, as I said, good start for young Danny Van Tripe with another couple of young stars. Disappointing performance from John Henderson. Speaking of disappointed performances on that stage, Dan Dawson's joined me. Thank you very much, Murph. It's a pleasure as always to be sat alongside you and to be insulted on such a regular basis. But it matters not, because I'm really excited about this game. And Josh Rock looks very enthusiastic for yet Thank another you, ladies and gentlemen. on the Euro Tour. First leg, it's Josh to throw first. Game on. Uh, these are two young players who've been tipped for great things. Everybody who's seen Josh Rock play this year is saying that he's sensational and the sky's the limit. 81. But Kurt Nenchez, while it hasn't been as an explosive a, an entrance to PDC Dart, it's been around for a few years. It was only a few months ago that Vincent van der Voort was saying this one's going to be a top oh, player. And you can kind of see why. Because it's a 180 to start and delivered in that typical Nenchez way, which is just smooth as silk. 22. Yeah, the two of his four Europe, uh, development tour events, rather, were won in 2019. Five of his darts have gone in the treble 20. 139. Oh. And the sixth one is in the 19. When threatening a perfect leg. Well, I do wonder what the other young players around the world of darts are thinking as over the last few weeks and months Josh Rock has, has just been the name on everybody's lips you know people are talking about Keen Barry and Hitton and Chisler, this is the future of the game these are the guys that are going to go on and become the big star and while people are still saying that they're saying a lot more about Josh Rock at the minute just because of the incredible consistency he's shown 134 Gert should require 42 seem to rock up out of nowhere here all weekend. Game shot on the first leg. Nenches, if he carries on like Kurt this, he Nenches. might be here all weekend as well. Fabulous Second start leg. from it's the young Dutchman in 11 dart leg Game to on. break. Oh. 
man who won the next talent of darts in 2015. Know much about that one? Not a great deal, no. I did see the name of it. 140. Beat Levi Freuenfelder in the final, oh. as I recall. Yeah, yeah. You just pluck that out of the air, have you? What's Levi up to now? 41. Um, sells jeans. <laughs> oh, God. I wish I'd asked. Always come prepared, Dan. 93. Yeah. Well, while Murphy's chucking out these nuggets of, let's charitably say, gold. Don't start about nuggets again, all right? <laughs> Kurt Nenchez is just 56. quietly storming into this. Nine data bitter. That's a nine data please in German for you there. Just a little, a little lesson for you, Murph. Danke. Very good. 58. Oh, he threatened to do it in the first leg, the nine data. And, well, we've only got six games tonight. And one of them already ended 6 0. There's certainly plenty of talent. 81. Yeah, very different fixtures. This one, as we've been billing, between two of the rising stars. We've got two of the old hands later on when Ian White takes on Raymond van Barneveld. 96. Yeah, Going to Euro require title 111. winners, of course. All the ones. 91. Well, Josh Rock's enthusiasm to get up there and get into battle has not been matched 100. by the excellence of his dogs. It's very rare 20. that you can say that. 2-0 lead for the 24-year-old from the Netherlands. 41. Some really scrappy stuff from Rock, uncharacteristically. 59. It may go the same way as John Henderson. 59. If he can't pick it up and Nenches doesn't relent, we could see Rock leave the stage legless. 121. Well, his run to the quarterfinals last week, it was not an easy one either. Took out Darius Labanaskis, the Lithuanian number one, then the Australian number one, 131. Damon Hetter, then Van Dijvenbode, who is the Dutch number three right now, but he's very close to being the number two. And it was only Dave Chisnell who did play amazingly, but did absolutely school young Josh Rock in that quarter-final that did for him. Unfortunately for Josh, we're seeing a, a performance a lot closer to that 57. one from him than the previous ones that we saw from him that weekend. And indeed, 95% of the performances we've seen from him over the course of this year. 42. And even that shot there, in a leg where he was looking comfortable, it might just open the door for Hurt Nenches. Needs to travel. And if he does win this leg, Hurt Nenches, it would Joshua be require 157. the biggest haul of legs that he's got on a Euro Tour stage. He's not enjoyed the Euro Tour yet, has he? 6-2, 6 0 his three previous Gertrude defeats. require 160. One of those this year to Vincent van der Voort, who was speaking after winning that match, the, the reference Joshua Dan made Ryan, earlier. 97. Fifty-seven. A wild second dart. Going to require one hundred and twenty-five. Nenches would have been looking at a two darter if he hadn't had the dart fall out of the twenty-five in the last visit, but it's still on with another ball in this room. Oh! Nenches, 25 ball, and Josh Rock is speared by Nenches, 3-0, double break. Well, it's certainly worth looking at that again, superb first. stuff. Game on. Perfectly crafted, that checkout. Left of the ball with the first start, and then went to the left to leave a load of space to the right, and he pinned it perfectly, and this has been... A quite sensational start. 140. Hit five perfect darts 
with his first five darts in this match. Went on to win the first leg in 11. And has now got a double break by virtue 96. of that firework finish of 1 2 5. One hundred. Just looks so effortless for him, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a man who's never won a match on the Euro Tour. Has never won more than two legs on the Euro Tour before. One hundred. Right, you can literally count on the fingers of one hand the number of times that we've seen Josh Rock in this kind of average zone come the end of a match. And that is over dozens and dozens and dozons of games. I mean, he's out of really, when he first started, he had to go and he had to lose something. And he did it over and over and over. Ninety. Maybe needs something to spark him. Joshua require 167. He's only had two darts at double in the game. Not going to get one at the end of this. And enters his guaranteed one as long as he stays straight. 131. Although he's one of those more difficult Joshua finishers. Joshua require 80. Because you can end up blocking yourself out. Eliminates that prospect. Gets two at double Game ten. Only needs one. Then Hetnetchers is running right here. It's Josh to throw first. Follows it with next to nothing. Opening the door for Nenches, despite the maximum start. Well, the gap in the first nine averages is a good 20 odd, nearly 25 points. So by the time they've thrown nine darts each, typically in this game, Kent Nenches is 83. 75 clear. And that's why Josh Rock has only been able to get two darts at double in the whole match so far. Staying on the 19s, he's annoyed because he's blocked his path to the treble, but he has to go there because 58. that is 170. <laughs> 121. Don't you require 170. A chance for Rock. Get a leg on the board. 96. Remember, Joshua he requires 77. started this leg with a maximum. And they have to hit this double to win it. 37. And again, it's way off. Gertrude requires 74. Difficult, isn't it? When you're barely getting chances at doubles, when you do get them, there's even more pressure to hit them. 54. Ooh, Nenches, the whitewash was very much on if that had found the mark. Joshua Clive. Clever little route that wasn't leaving that top bed open. Rather than the, the conventional treble 14, route 14, and then 20 blocks tops. Double five. 30. And still, Rock fails to find six starts Gertrude now. Gertrude required 20. Game shot the fifth leg. Five nil, another break. Kurt Nanchez has the darts, Six looking for a second whitewash win Game of on. the night. Neither of them you would have expected, but right now Josh Rock is sinking like a, like um, forty-five, a stone. There we go. One hundred and forty. We know it's going to be Hertz's best Euro Tour performance. Even if he ends up losing it 6-5, it'll be his best result on the Euro Tour. I think if he loses this 6-5, <laughs> it will feel like his best Euro Tour performance. But it's on course to be his highest average on stage. Nowhere near his highest average 58. away from the stage, by the way. Had 120-plus average earlier this year on the development tour in the very first event. Very, in the very first round as well, wasn't it? It was his first match mm. of the year on that circuit. 140. But you can see the, the way he's 
so technically sound. It's so smooth that throw. He One hundred and thirty-three. He, he could just average hundred and ten plus all day. You feel? What what's going to go wrong with that? He's just placing them in. One hundred. Joshua Kai. One hundred and seventy. So Benenches in this game, and it's looking very, very possible. Nine six two. Probable. Joshua Kai. One hundred and sixty. Second successive. Whitewash win for a young Dutch talent. Double 18 will complete it. Game and Double 18 and the does complete it. As he signs off in style. Hert Nemchers, a 116 checkout to go with the brilliant 125 earlier in the match. And it is a second 6 0 win on the spin. He follows in the footsteps of Danny Van Tripp in the first match of the day. He whitewashed John Henderson. Nemchers here rocks Josh Rock with a stunning display, his highest average on stage in PDC darts, 98.02, Josh Rock just not at the races, races even, and Nenches going through to the second round, he'll be in action on Saturday, and we're going to hear from the youngster, who will be happy, I'm sure, to talk to Dan Dawson, at least somebody will be. Come and stand here, my man, congratulations, how does it feel to win on a European Tour stage? Finally, that yeah, feels amazing. I really wasn't expecting this result, but I'm very happy. Look, Josh didn't play well, but you played excellently, particularly at the start of the match. It must have been really satisfying to come up here and feel good. Yeah, well, finally, I felt uh, comfortable on the stage. I, I played a uh, few times on the stage and I was always not concentrated, but now I, was, I started a good with 11 daughter, I think, and that, that got me in the game, and yeah, finally. You played Vincent van der Voort on the European Tour earlier this year. At the end of the match, he said, that lad is the future of darts, not just Dutch darts, he's going to be a top eight player. It must feel amazing hearing somebody like Vincent say that about you. Yeah, it does, but <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. That, yeah, that is a, a very, very nice compliment from him. I'm very happy to hear that. And very well deserved as well. Well deserved victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the spear, Hurt Nenches. Another 6-0 whitewash here in Jena tonight. Let's see what the rest of the evening has in store.